Hey, welcome back. Sorry? I just have my iPhone on the stick taping these things, so. But I want to talk to you about when I was going to school on the island. I had to go to diabetic daycare, as it was called. Now it's called diabetic education. And you really weren't, like, you didn't go every single day. So, what it was, was education about diabetes-related things. And thinking back now, is one segment of the video mentioned something that, you know, I keep recurring in my mind and that is they did it on illicit drugs and how these illicit drugs can fa affect your diabetes now I think Along the lines of people who use illicit drugs, somewhere in the back of their mind, they sort of know that they have to clean up. It's a lot harder than it looks. So, this is dedicated to the youngsters with diabetes. There's pot. There's a whole bunch of other illicit drugs that as you enter high school even middle school now drugs are going to become more available the worst thing you can do is to start it yeah that's what all the old people say I know I know they don't know they haven't lived well I think well yes we have lived and years ago, things opened up to me. And if you want this, hey, this will make you feel better. And in the back of my mind, the first time, well, the first time, the only time, really, I said no. And why did I say no? Well, first of all, I hate having a low blood sugar. I hate the feeling that it happens. So why would I l like to just go on drugs and, oh, I don't f like to lose control. But a lot of people do. But you really have to stay away from that. Thinking about drugs and alcohol, they're have been stories about diabetics, you know, going out in college and going out and having a, more than a few alcoholic drinks, coming back and the insulin, or sorry, the glucose in the alcohol first raises your blood sugar and then it drops very quickly. And people have died. And I'm not trying to say, well, you have alcohol, you're going to die. When you're an adult, you, you gain an awful lot more reasoning power. And I think even college kids, like I know, yeah, when I was 20, I kind of knew everything. But you don't. And, you know, us as adults try to tell you this. And I don't think we get through. Yes, it's the greatest thing. Oh, everyone, I, you know, I've gone to a party and this has happened. Why can't I have a drink? Well, first of all, a very strong one is it's against the law. Second of all, it could cause major problems. Now, 
as an adult and most um, diabetic educators or endocrinologists don't really mind if you go out and have a drink. But they do sort of frown on getting drunk. And getting high, getting drunk. It make, makes you feel better. Oh yes, I can. I can conquer the world. Well, you don't know how much things are actually hurting your body. Now, you could end off worse than I am. Getting control of your diabetes could be extremely difficult. Now, I never did drugs. And then, yes, I still have problems with my diabetes. But that was since the get-go. That has nothing to do with... Um, taking the drugs it was just my body decided not to go along the flow now if you say to a kid oh well you know you're going to get hooked on the stuff that's sort of always where it goes it doesn't really stop there, or it stops there, but you could, you could die. It's simple and plain truth. You could die. Now, oh, everyone else gets to do it. Well, everyone else gets to eat sugar, like left, right, and center. Everyone else doesn't have to stop and do the blood sugar. Every, you know, it's, you can use that excuse for many different things. Don't do drugs. It's as simple as that. Now, I know there's a lot more to it, kids in high schools and such, and college, where you're trying to fit in. And... But why do you have to fit in to rules that they create? Come up with your own rules. Life can offer you so much more natural highs than taking illicit drugs. Whether you're amphetamines or cocaine or heroin. Diabetes is difficult enough of a battle to fight. You don't want to get into a cycle where you have to fight to get over diabetes and then fight to continue on with your life. Now, another real easy thing is people found out that I was a diabetic. Oh, wow. Gee, can you get me syringes? No. Because your most government plans and whatever know how much insulin shots a person could take. And if you're getting, like, bags, because you can make millions off this, it doesn't work well. So, keeping people away from drugs at first. And it's going to be easy to forget about things and just, oh, well. I'll try it just once. Well, once may be once too many. And a lot of people who are on drugs and such 
get into the habit and then it's hard to stop. And it's gonna affect your blood sugars. So don't do it. Yes, you wanna be the cool kid. Be the cool kid who doesn't have to use drugs. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye now.